Welcome back to the basics of digital audio signal processing and machine learning for audio, this time using Python. We are here with our first code example, so code example number one, and we will load and play back a WAV file. So, as I explained on the introduction of this series, this series consists of three parts. We will have a code example, then we will have the theory that is involved in this example, and then we go through the code line by line, and we will see all the functions, everything related to the code, and learn how to program using Python. So, the idea of this code example is I will not explain all the Python code here or the theory behind it. We just we want to write a piece of code that will load and play back a WAV file. So, almost everybody is familiar with WAV file. It was before the MP3. We had this, these files with audio information that were quite big. And then it came MP3 and then it started all different formats and then it came streaming. So uh, this was um, one of the first audio files that um, a lot of people had access to. Not, um, it's not used so much for a lot of people, but if you're still working with audio, recording, doing some signal processing, you still use a lot of WAV files. So what we want in this uh, code is to use Python to play back our audio data. Before we start, we need to download a WAV file from the internet or from your um, local computer to the Google Colab environment. If we look here at the Files Explorer, we just see this is a sample data It comes when you start Google Colab and we want to have our WAV file here. You could go here and download, upload your WAV file from your computer, but we are going to get it from the GitHub. So we are using wget. So this is not Python. This is, uh, if you're not familiar with um, Google Colab and Jupyter Notebooks, take a look in um tutorial introduction to Google Colab. But this exclamation mark is telling us that we're going to execute a command in the shell. So this, this Jupyter Notebook, this Google Colab is running in a remote Linux server. And we are going this, to use this command wget. And here is the HTTP of this WAV file that's called tone44448k.wav. So now if we execute this cell, it's downloaded. And when we go here to the file explorer, we have our file here. So now we can load this file into Python and play it back using Python and Google Colab. So now we go to the code example, and as I mentioned before, I'm not going into the details and explain what is uh, Librosa load, what is um, print, what is import, what is ipd.audio. The only thing what I'm going to do is to show you how we are going to load. So our goal is to load and play back a WAV file. For that, we are executing this part, import Liberosa. So basically, this is importing a Python library that has a lot of functions. One of these functions is this load. Then we put here the name of the file we have. We set here SR means the sample rate. We will talk about this on the theory part. We are setting this to none. That means that um, I will explain details later, but just we are going to get the original sample rate of this WAV file. Then this function here is returning two values. One is called the audio data, the other one is called sample rate. So we can run the cell. Now we will print these two um, audio data and sample rate. So there is a function that's called printed. 
print means we're going to display the audio data and the sample rate. So if we execute this cell, now we have this audio data and we have this array of numbers. And if you take a look here, you already see that the numbers, they are very small. So they will be, in this case, from minus one to one, we're going to see why later. And it's telling us, it's printing on the screen that the sampling rate is 48,000. That means 48,000 Hertz. We are going to take a look later on about, we will make a revision on these concepts about um, Hertz. And um, this is for the theoretical part. Then we are importing another library and we import ipython.display as ipd. So that means now that uh, we have this library and we can use this ipd as an abbreviation. So inside this library there is a function that's called audio and then we, so we are using ipd. So from ipython display we use this function audio and then we pass this to types of data that we have here. One we see it's a number. There are different types of numbers, so we see that this number here has no dot, but this one here has a dot, and here with decimal places, so there are all this theory about data types and data structures that we are going to talk later. Numbers, there are different types of numbers we need to be aware. Python is a language that it makes life easier because you don't need to be too much and pay too much attention to the type of the variable, the data you're dealing with. But in other languages, you must specify first, okay, this, I uh, will create this piece of uh, memory location that was going to be called audio data. And this audio data will store a number that are just uh, integers, for example, or a number with decimal points. But we are going to see this on the Python part or in other languages, the language specifics. So when we run this cell here, we are importing this library and now we will execute the cell and we will have this nice playback. This is an HTML audio element and we can play. And you can control the volume and also here you can control the playback speed. Sometimes depending um, on the server you are running, so maybe you are running different servers with different um, directory structures, you can also download from here. That would be just not the playback, but here will be some um, options to download. Not the case now, but we succeeded, so with a few lines of code, we loaded a WAV file into Python. From that, we can print what is inside this uh, WAV file. There are some numbers, so these numbers, they are representing the audio. So basically, we had sound, somebody recorded the sound, or in this case, it was a sine wave or a cosine wave, so it was synthesized mathematically but you can for example record a sound with a microphone so you're going from one domain to another so we have the vibration of air and then the microphone there is a membrane that will feel these sound vibrations and it will convert the sound vibrations into electricity and then there will be an analog to digital converter that will take this voltage, this electricity produced, and will convert into a sequence of numbers. And there are many ways how you can represent this sequence of numbers. But we are going to discuss this on the theory part of this um, tutorial. So this is the code example part. So each tutorial we have three parts, a code example. Then we will discuss the theory can be a DSP, a digital signal processing theory, or a machine learning when we reach machine learning topics. And then we will go to the code explanation and then we'll go line by line and we'll talk about what is this import, what is Librosa, what is audio data, sample rate, what is this 
go step by step going through everything which is involved in this code that we just loaded and played back a WAV file. So I'll see you on the next tutorial. Now we will discuss the DSP theory, but if you're not interested in the DSP theory, you just want to learn Python with audio examples, you can skip and go to the code explanation. Or if you are interested just in the DSP, you already can program in Python, you can explain also the code explanation. Just have, maybe it would be interesting to have some examples here how to use Python with audio and to see the uh, DSP part. So it's up to you where to go next.